Hey everybody, Jeremy here, and when I was in Toys R Us last week, I came across something that was really, really cool, and I really just couldn't help myself but to pick it up and buy it. This is really great stuff. Let me show you the box. This is a minion figure from the upcoming movie uh, Minions. And if you don't really care about minions, these are the same guys from Despicable Me. That was a pretty great movie. It had Steve Carell, and then it had all these little yellow minions running around. And it was really, it was a really good movie, very entertaining. Now, since they're coming out with this new movie called Minions, they're really wanting to get the kids into this, you know? They're really trying to make the minions a thing. And if you go to Toys R Us, you'll see they have dedicated a lot of their area, especially in the front, towards minion toys and things like that. Now, Mega Blocks has a license to produce uh, construction sets based on minions. And this, this is personally my favorite. This is a 15 inch minion figure. I believe this minion uh, name is Kevin, I think. And he is completely built up with bricks. He is 776 pieces worth of Mega Blocks bricks. And when you put it all together, you get this really awesome figure. I got him. He was $59.99 in Toys R Us, which for something like this, I think is totally worth it. So what does he look like after he's been built? Well, he looks like this. Take a look at this guy. The likeness of this guy is just amazing. I cannot believe that Mega Bloks has produced something like this and at a price point that I think is very, very affordable. Like I said, he does stand around 15 inches tall and there is nothing on him that isn't made of a construction piece. There are no stickers. These eyes right here, these eyes are not stickers or anything like that. They are put together with just regular pieces and some pieces that I think perhaps are just special just to make things look great uh, for this minion figure. They did an amazing job, an amazing job. The designer or designers of this particular uh, Kevin figure you did a fantastic job. If you're looking at this video, just know you are an amazing person because the likeness is absolutely incredible. Now, how long did it take me to build this? Well, I tend to build things a bit on the slower side because I'm of, I'm of the thought process that if I mess up and I have to tear a lot of pieces down, I'm going to get really, really upset. So I tend to just take my time. So it took me a few uh, hours to build this guy. I was watching wrestling as I was building this guy. And it was a pretty enjoyable process, except for a few uh, gripes that I have about it. And really just Mega Blocks in general. So there are several different bags worth of parts that make up our wonderful Kevin Minion here. And for some reason, Mega Blocks has decided that they are not going to label the bags or separate the pieces into individual bags to make it easier for us to put together. Like when Lego has larger sets, we have numbered bags to let us know, okay, for this part of the build, get number bag one and get the number bag two. And you won't need any of the other ones. Mega Blocks doesn't do that. Instead, they just have a whole heap of bags. And you may need a single piece that is in a bag comprised of a hundred other pieces. So I had this table here and I pretty much had to put out every single piece that was in the box on the table just so I could know where to look and grab. And you know, because we don't really know how much time we might have to dedicate to building something and you know, people might have kids, they might have pets and you know, you don't want to lose anything. I would really like it Mega blocks. if you're watching, if you start putting number bags or letter bags and start separating the pieces accordingly just to make it easier. I don't think it would have taken as long to make this minion if I had the pieces separated uh, according to the bag. Because a lot of the time was me just separating them into individual piles. Another thing about this build that I wish were better, but hey, in the end it all worked out, so I'm not sure how much I can actually complain, is sometimes when you went to build things, the way that they had us do it was 
you have to take a number of pieces, let's say five pieces, and you have to put them down on your flat surface. And then you have to take another piece and put it on top of those five loose pieces to get them all to stay together. Now, maybe it's just my hands, but sometimes when you're trying to put one long piece on top of a bunch of random loose pieces, they start to get misaligned, and then you get into this kind of trying to straighten it out but you can't quite do it and one piece flies over there and you have to bring it back to center and make sure they're all even again and try to set it down that happened a lot during this build but in the end you know once i got through it it came out absolutely amazing so let's take a look at some of this articulation on this minion figure really cool stuff that you can do here see his hands here are poseable his fingers you can move them in and out, and you see his thumb just came off here. The thumb is not as poseable as the index fingers. It's not on as tough. If you hold down this piece here, you can just sort of move the thumb kind of like that. We have to be careful so that the thumb doesn't completely come off. But the actual index fingers, no problem at all. And his arms are on a ball joint. And his hands are also on a ball joint. So you can move his hands around for a full 360 degrees because it's on that circular ball joint. And it's the same thing for his arm. It can just rotate around just like that. Same thing on this side. It's basically the same build is just been reversed. That's pretty much it for the articulation of this figure. Uh, the feet do not move. They're very small. They're very static. That's fine. It has this little compartment here, which you can open up from the top. And there are some studs on the inside where you could put this other little mini minion figure that came inside of the box. Now, I don't know what this minion's name is. And it's a really nice looking uh, minion figure, and I know there's a bunch of other sets and even blind bags that have these figures inside of them. However, I can't find one of the feet to mine. I don't know if I misplaced it or if uh, it just didn't come with another foot, but I'm missing one foot. But if he were standing level, I could just sort of put him inside here, and he could just sort of stand like that and you can't close him up in there but it could be something different as far as posability goes but i just want to let you know it does come with that one little uh figure here and you can also get different facial poses from this minion figure because he is he is created in sections so you can detach parts of him put them back in another order and get a completely different look so all you have to do to change his facial expression is get the piece that his face is attached to. It kind of goes on like this. This part pulls off because it's connected by these pins here. So all you have to do at this point is simply turn the face around and then reattach it. So we are going to reattach it like so. Stick it in there like that. It's now he has a sad face. And then we bring the body back over and then we reattach that part and then we bring his head over and we reattach his head and from there you see now he has a completely a completely different expression than he did before and that is awesome so depending on what kind of mood you're in or how you want him to look you can just change his facial expression i love it has that kind of customization with it that is a very nice touch Another cool thing you can do is make Kevin shorter. So in order to do that, we have to detach another part of his head. And don't worry, it's, it's not difficult at all. These, these detaching sections very easily. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take away a part of his lower face, all right? So we see that this piece was originally attached to him like this. So we're just gonna take this part off and just push it to the side. Now we're gonna take the part where his face is, and I believe we had him in his sad expression, and we are just going to attach this to his head, like that. And then from here, we just attach the rest to his body. So as you can see, he's no longer 15 inches tall. We've effectively made him a bit shorter. So if you wanted to display him like this, that's also an option for you. 
Heck, you can even put him like this if you want. I mean, he doesn't have a mouth, but it's another different look. Uh, it's a very silly look, but hey, sky's the limit. You can just make it seem like his head is just scrunched into his overalls and his mouth is hidden. It's whatever you want to do. But if you want to keep him in the standard look, then just take the top part of his head and then reattach his lower face and then put his other face back on. Turn this upside down. Put his other face back on like this. Oh, there we go. And then just stack this right here. And there you go. And you can see I can lift him up like this and he's not completely falling apart. So he holds together very well. Uh, his hair here is just made up of these very, uh, very flexible uh, plastic tubes. At least I think this is plastic or it might be rubber. I'm not entirely sure, but you can put these on however way that you want. And it's just on this little plate piece here that goes right down in the middle of his head. So you can arrange these in whichever order that you want. And they are also on these hinges. So you can just sort of bend and control the angle of the hair if you want to do that too. So as a person who loves to collect things like this, I love to collect nice Lego sets and collectible figures. I've done a review on a bunch of those different things on this channel. I really like this and I wish, I wish that Mega Bloks or Lego or some company, I really don't care who as long as it's decent quality, will create more of these larger than normal scale figures based on the likeness of some character, whether it's from movies or TV shows or something, and not have it be extremely expensive. One of my favorite Lego builds is the Star Wars Ultimate Collector Series R2-D2. It is fantastic, but it was also like $179. Then again, it was over 2,000 pieces. But I am very happy with this guy here. He is only 776 pieces and he is put together in a way that is just really, really great. It's really great. Built up in sections, different posing options as far as facial features go, and he was only 60 bucks. That is a great deal. And that's why I wanted to do a video in this style because I just wanted to express, you know, how happy I am with this. I would love, you know, if Mega Bloks were to make, let's say, a SpongeBob, just like this, in this scale, you know, no question, I would get it. Even though I'm not crazy about Spongebob anymore, he's been around for over 10 years and when I was younger I really liked him and you know I'm just like partial to him now but if I can get a brick built version of Spongebob that was completely solid and well built all the way around, I'll be all over it. I'll be all over any awesome figure that was made in this type of scale that didn't cost a ridiculously huge amount of money. So my recommendation is if you have someone in your family or a friend who you know really enjoys creating things like this, they will really, really be happy with it. Megablox has seriously stepped up. So if you're worried about whether the quality of their bricks is so inferior that it makes building things very difficult, that may have been an issue in the past that is not an issue anymore. They're getting very, very good at it, especially with that sweet Mattel money backing them up. It's even going to get better and better and better. So yeah, I ramble for a while, but I hope you enjoyed my look and review of this awesome minion figure from Mega Bloks. So once again, I got this guy for $60 at Toys R Us. Not too sure if it's available anywhere else, but it is a very, very good thing. It is a very awesome uh, present to give to someone or to yourself. So thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'm Jeremy, and I'll talk to you later.